Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me. This is your love reading for the week beginning December 26th. Thank you for watching this channel and please like, claim, or comment to help me to grow. Okay, so with the Wheel of Fortune, this is all about timing. And whatever you're doing with your relationships, whatever you're doing with your home life, whatever's going on at work, all of these things are interconnected. And it's about uh, bringing things to a conclusion to what has been a very challenging, challenging year for many, many people, including Capricorns. Uh, some of you are dealing with a lot of responsibility. You feel like your shoulders can't take much more. A lot of you are um, definitely enjoying a really beautiful romance. Uh, something that's full of chemistry, sexual highs. Um, you feel very uh, good with each other. You feel like the two of you are... Um, enjoying a life together that you really was like a dream come true uh, but Capricorn always wants to the energy in you is, is always about it can be better it can be better so whatever it is that in your relationship that you feel may be lacking a little bit you maybe your focus is on trying to improve that situation but again you have to do it in the right time so if you, if you don't take the, if you get ahead of yourself and you make like a business plan in your love relationships, it's not really going to work like that. It may, you know, in some ways, but really what, what I want you to think about this week is enjoying time together with your person. Um, this is a great week to get out of your head and get into bed with somebody, uh, and, whether it's somebody you've been happily, you know, in a relationship with or whether it's somebody you, ju you just met. There's a lot of energy that's bound up right now in Capricorn and you need to expend that energy in the best way this week. And I'm telling a lot of signs this. It's about physical uh, union with people. It's about using your bodies together to let go of all of the energy, let go of all of the things that haven't come to fruition this year. Let go of the disappointments. Let go of the dreams for next year. Just embrace this week and be with the person that you love physically. Be more sensual. Um, you know, you can also build that great empire, that great house, that great business. But this week is about the sensual progress that you want to make because next year, will be even more rewarding if you take a little bit of time right now. Some of you are entering a new relationship and you have the Ace of Wands, which again is about creation. It's about creating an experience that the two of you uh, are going to grow from. It's about sex. It's about desire. It's about chemistry. It's about the energy, the sexual potential that somebody has. It's about feeling lucky. It's about writing you know, riding high, feeling fun, feeling flirty. Uh, enjoy your life. You've worked hard for it. Embrace this energy because it's not going to be around forever. And if you, you know, if you're looking for an answer to something, the, the wands, the ace of wands is hell yes. So if you're, you know, dating new, newly dating somebody, then this has the potential to just be a good time for some of you but it also has the potential to like I said this is all about timing to grow into something maybe you start out with not really serious intentions but it grows over time and it can grow over time and it can become a committed relationship where